I'm out here in Singapore on business and of course I had to get a bit of sneaker shopping in while I was here. I thought I'd pick up a retail. Um, so here I'm heading to Sneakers Clinic in the Commerce Building at Irving. Uh, it's a consignment store, resale store owned by Benjamin. I forget his surname right now. Um, but the guy was super knowledgeable, really cool. And as you can see, he's got a great selection of stuff in here. So he's in, been, been in business for a number of years, he used to sell out of his apartment, but now he's got his own store, it's pretty cool. Um, and it was the website that actually, that's how I found it. I just Googled and uh, this one seemed to have pretty solid reviews. Um, but what I really like about the website is you can filter by size, because uh, you know, I didn't expect to see too many US 11s here. Uh, it's not so common in China to get them anyway, but um, I got some good stuff um, But it was the night of mischief that drew my attention. So um, I found it here. This is uh, recorded this bit of uh, the website is recorded after I already purchased them So you'll see it'll show sold out in a second, but um, I good website really cool really easy to navigate uh, you can see the price that I paid 769 Singapore dollars it's like 400 and something pounds, 500 bucks or something. Uh, so yeah, sold out. I grabbed this pair. You'll see it soon enough, but let's have a look at the, the goods he's got. Um, pretty sweet, man. There's the original animal pack, the 1.0. Look at that crumble, man. Absolutely crumbling away. The uh, Air Mag inspired adapts there, pretty sweet. Uh, here's your standard stuff. You tend to see stuff that was available uh, at retail or under retail but along with some other cool things there uh bear brakes got a few of those floating about he got some uh i think he's got two stores listed under one he's got uh collectibles as well like pokemon cards stuff like that uh so nothing too outrageous on this table there's those recent what you call them what are those footscape or something like that um crocopolex and uh Really, like, I'm not going to go through every single shoe and talk about the price. I'm just showing what he has um, because all the prices are on his website, as I mentioned already. Um, but it was the one specific pair I was trying to pick up today. We'll get to them shortly. Uh, there's a Shiko's there. So you can see a pretty decent variety of stuff. Not just your like modern hype or Travis Scott's of course he's got all that but um, got some goodies tucked away that you don't normally see so I'm impressed by this shop I think it's got a great selection so if you're in Singapore check it out um, the guy's a legend as well that's my pair right there um, I was talking to him and I uh, was talking to him about what I do comparing the reps and retails and how I don't really care I wear whatever and uh, he was just cool with it, he was chill. He's, I was asking about like the Singapore culture because I was curious if it's any different. And he said he's got plenty of friends who would own the real ones and the rep ones and keep the retails nice and like tear up, bash up the, uh, the reps or whatever. And he just doesn't care, doesn't judge. But, but I will say this, Singapore seems to have much tighter regulations than uh, other Asian countries I've been to. Uh, in terms of the import of snides because all of this stuff that I can see here I mean I didn't like go in depth and check each single pair pretty damn clear that it's retail stuff uh, especially the Air Maxes there it's obvious there's, uh, there's always going to be look let's get into this topic right because I don't claim to be you know the all knowing expert by any means you'll never hear me say that I'm knowledgeable, yes, and I've had thousands of reps pass through my hands, but that doesn't make me an expert. Nobody's an expert, this is the thing. There's things you can look for and there's tells on individual silhouettes, um, as you'll have seen from my comparisons, or if you got me on my, uh, my other Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, there's obviously, there's things to look for on individual sample pair down here, we'll get to that. Um, here you can see a sample pair that's been drilled through by the factory. I think that's like a way of avoiding them. Um, so a men's sample, pretty sure they're always a US 9. But um, yeah, drilled through and they've scribbled something on it. 
Um, so I put a drill hole straight through the phylon foam. He got these from his buddy, uh, who's Vietnam based. Pretty cool to see a sample. It's not that much different. I don't, I couldn't see any differences between this and the, uh, the retails. So, you know, there's all those different kinds of samples you can get, salesman sample, and whatever. Uh, but yeah, where, where was I? What was I saying just now? Yeah, so even with like my knowledge, yeah, I found it very difficult in person. Um, keep in mind that I don't tend to go to these places. I rarely will. In fact, I can't remember the last time I went to a resale shop like this. So having all these retails available in hand, uh, I wouldn't trust it as much in China, but here more trusting. But this goes to show, right? I'm putting a lot of trust in this dude because I don't know. And he might not know as knowledgeable as he clearly is. Um, I was asking him like, how often do the reps come in? He's like, oh, all the time, all the time. There's someone trying to sneak one past me or someone who actually doesn't know themselves and they're trying to get them in. Now here's the real question. Did your man Snide get ripped off? Has he been done? This is what it feels like to pay a resale and get done. So we got a glossy sticker. It seems to be the original paper. The bag seems legit. That is how they did package them. I'm looking at the holes here on the vamp, that seems good. The lighting is, is crap in here, obviously. I'm just in a, in a hotel with these overhead. Individual lights, not the best. I'm confident, I am confident, um, but I will save my thorough legit checking for the rep versus retail video. Let's see shortly. As soon as I get back to China, I'll compare these to the top tier fake version. One thing that um, they haven't done on the fakes is get the glow. But then the retails also, they didn't glow that much. Didn't have the brightest glow like you'll see on like uh, the mummies or the more recent Halloween dunks. Time will tell. Let's get into it on the next video. But for now, for now, we'll call them retails, but it just goes to show, doesn't it? Here's me, a self-professed expert. I'm not, I never say that. I never bang on about my skill set. Keep it humble. I don't care about any of that. No claim to anything, but even I'm not 100%, not quite yet. I'll save it for the next video. Cheers, guys. Keep it snidey.